What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Tarmac Obsession. So today is the 27th of June and it is pouring with rain here in Western Australia. Um, you probably hear it in the background, it's absolutely bucketing down. I just got off the roof uh, from cleaning my gutters, which I know is something you're supposed to do when it's nice and sunny and dry, but uh, jacaranda trees, just fill your gutters up in the hills. So uh, today's episode I'm going to be doing the insulation on the firewall and uh, getting all that sort of in and done. Time permitting, I don't know how much else I'll get done on top of that. I'd like to get the steering column out, the pedals out, uh, insulation all cut and made and refitted, and the pedals and the column back in and refitted. I'd also like to get that uh, soundproofing, the um, dynamat in and, and finished. So hopefully in today's episode I can get all of that done, uh, and then I can move on to some more jobs. I'll see that, that fuel pump I want to get finished, so that fuel lines are all kind of done. I need to clean a couple little bits and pieces. So today's episode, it's getting that uh, insulation sorted out, so stay tuned and hope you enjoy. So this is the stuff I'm using uh, to make this backing, which I've made that one piece already and so cut it out of there. So all I'm going to do is lay that out, get the, the piece that I need, and stencil that on to there, I guess, somewhere around there. Um, mark that out and then cut them out and then make the other two pieces that I need. And then I've got this backing here, which I got from, so I got that, I got that stuff from Bunnings and I got this stuff here from Clark Rubber. Um, so it's gonna cut, we'll glue that to that and then cut it out, trim it nicely on top of that. Um, the stuff I'm gonna use to glue it together is actually, it's just, yeah, which is some sicker stuff. So just spray fix, which is contact adhesive. So that should be a pretty relatively easy job marking that out and doing that today. So I'll just do it like I normally do it and uh, give you a little time lapse and show you the end result when she's done. Alrighty guys, so that is that middle section done. Uh, you can see where it butts up against this section here that I made before. So these are the holes for, these are actually aircon pipes that would come through here, but the car doesn't have aircon, which is fantastic. These are the heater pipes, and these look like a couple of mounting pieces here. So I'm gonna make that bit now off camera. You don't need to see me stenciling again. Um, yeah, I'll make that one up, and then I'll show you what that looks like when it's all finished. So anyone who's looking at doing this project, the stuff I'm using is flame resistant, not flame proof. So I've got a flame here and I've got a bit of the material and I'll show you, it does take ages to burn. I mean, anything long enough or hot enough will just destroy itself, but this stuff is actually pretty good. So it doesn't actually catch fire. So, I mean, the dash would be more flammable than that. So it's good stuff. It is pretty good stuff. <laughs> well, that little job took me about 35, 40 minutes. Um, that's all completed. I'm really happy with the way they came out. That was probably the more complex one with that cut up the top up there, but they are done. So what I'm gonna do now is whip out the steering column, the pedals, and get the final sort of test fit done in these. When I'm happy with the way they fit in the car, I'm gonna get this insulation glued up to the back, get that all set, get them all fitted in, and then get all the pedals and the uh, steering column back in. So I guess the next thing I'll show you is just, yeah, when I'm finished getting all that stuff out and clean, I'll, get, I'll show you what this looks like test fitting inside the car. that all apart now and I thought that went like 
this, but it actually goes like this. So this is where, this is the Mickey Mouse bit. That's where the wiring comes through and then it goes that way. So there's nothing up the top really. Um, I guess that one little piece goes up the top, but yeah, there's a big gap where all the, uh, the throttle uh, linkage goes through and then where the brake uh, uh, booster comes through as well. So I'm just gonna trial fit that now and have a look how it sort of goes and then I can make a decision on trimming and getting it into the uh, getting the backing on it and getting it fitted up. So we'll give that a try and see how it looks like. Well, I am pretty stoked with the way they've turned out. Um, it's funny when, when you're pulling stuff apart or putting it back together, I noticed little bits and pieces where I couldn't quite work out why they were there and there was these little tabs. I'll actually show you the little tabs. Um, so you've got the wiring, the wiring tabs here. Uh, and these other ones, which I thought were for wiring, but it actually, they're actually for these pieces to hold them into place, which I didn't even think about, I've forgotten all about. So I had to make the holes for, holes for them there, there, and there's one there, and one over there as well. So that holds it up, up and into spot. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shoot it with the sicker on the back, and I'm gonna shoot the really um, insulation with the sicker. Give it a couple of minutes just to tack up, and then I'm gonna stick them down, put them together, put some weight on them and then leave them today and that'll be the end of the work I'm going to get done today. So probably the next video will see me cutting them all out and chewing them up and ready to refit to the car. Well they're all glued. I've got some big heavy boxes, these are screws and just tie down straps, holding that down, I wanna press that down overnight. Um, tomorrow's video, or well, tomorrow when I film, um, I'll take all this off, trim them up, cut it all out, refit them to the car, steering column back in, and I'll also get the pedals back in, and that should be it for behind the dash. I guess the next stuff I'll be able to do is you refit the um, heater cores and the fan blowers and that sort of stuff. But I'm gonna leave that for tonight, and we'll see you guys in the morning. Well, it's the next day guys, so let's have a look how these turned out. I reckon they're going to come out pretty good. Well, they glued down, so it must be stuck on the inside. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, perfect. pouring with rain like literally overflowing the gutters so trying to get a moment where I can actually talk to you without being interrupted by the sound so they're done um, yeah they come up real good I just showed you a little clip of me using the soldering iron to trim out these holes um, this is actually like sort of a plasticky material when it's when it's sprayed down so it doesn't it doesn't catch fire or anything I actually was worried that um, I was actually worried that it would catch fire and I wanted it to be fire resistant. I was told it was fire resistant. So this is actually the, the stuff. It doesn't, it doesn't catch, it just, it just melts a bit. Um, if this is the original stuff here, so this actually fully catches fire. So yeah, I think that the stuff I'm using is an improvement on this stuff. So gonna get it in the car now. So let's chuck it back together. Do it. Quick break in proceedings there guys, the uh, gutters overflowed, shed filled up with water, cleaned it all out, fixed it all up, had a shower, changed the clothes and now I'm going to be back to it. Oh, it's raining again. That was a pretty quick job really, but they're all in now, so... I can get the steering column back in, I can get the uh, pedals all back in, and I can move on to the next job, which will be dynamating these floors after I give them a little quick clean up. So let's knock that off. Let's get on to the next thing. I 
I'm very pleased to say that that is now complete. So insulation's in on against the firewall. Um, you can see the little lip on the bottom of the steering column here. That holds that insulation nice and tight against the firewall. Um, so that's all done, buttoned it all up. I missed a couple of bolts up here the first time I put it in, so I've got them in there all done. Uh, next job is to do the dynamat, which I'm gonna to do tomorrow. Dynamat here, here, at the back, and that other side. Also on the 260s, there's a little piece that runs here, which is like a, the same material as the insulation of the firewall. So I'm gonna make those two pieces for both sides. So when you are reassembling your 260, the sequence that it goes in is pedal box. Oh, sorry, let me start again. Insulation, pedal box, steering column, accelerator pedal, and then that all buttons back up with it and the wiring comes back up in here. So that's everything done. Uh, yeah, looking forward to getting stuck into finishing that dynamat, which I keep talking about, I never do, but it's only a quick job, but I want to get it done. So that's tomorrow's job. Well, thanks again for watching, guys. I do appreciate you taking the time to look at my videos. I uh, hope it's helping someone with a bit of a how-to guide to doing their Z restorations. I know I'll get a few uh, messages from people saying they really appreciate me showing the little intricacies of putting the cars back together. Uh, like I said, next video is going to be um, Dynamat and I'm going to make the bracket for the electric fuel pump. So I'll show you how that all fits and the correct plumbing for the fuel lines. So that'll all go back in in the next episode. Uh, next Saturday, I've got a mate of mine coming up, Brad. Looking forward to seeing you, champ. Yeah, he's going to give me a hand to do a few things. One of the big jobs I've been putting off, which I'm going to do because I've got me, he, me and him doing it together, is whack the diff and all the A-arms in the back and get all that back up and in. So as long as I can get that fuel pump done on Monday, then I can get the rest of that back end in on Saturday. So Monday fuel pump, dynamat, then back end next Saturday. So they're the next two videos. So stay tuned to the channel, guys. Hit that thumbs up if you are enjoying it and subscribe. I'd love you to get 172, which is pretty awesome. So 172 subs now, which I am pretty happy about. So we will see you Monday. Have a great day, guys. Thank you.